guys, Odies. Welcome to Fun Guys Kitchen, my kitchen, of course. Um, I hope you're enjoying the spring. Uh, it's really interesting around here. We've had snow constantly all the way through the end of April. We're finally into the beginning of May, um, and we're, it's kind of funny. We're having another storm coming through tonight. The snow is going to be north of us, so we're not going to get any snow this time, but it's going down to like 36 degrees in, April, in May. This is just goofy. However, that's a good time to use the oven for cooking things. So today, we're going to try to make a healthier version of meatloaf. We're going to make a turkey meatloaf. Now, I've made this in the past many times, um, but I'm a big dark turkey meat fan. And when you get the ground turkey, it's, it's a blend of stuff, so it's just like hamburger. So, um, but we're going to do it this way. So, uh, let me, oh, and of course, don't forget Steinbring's Piggly Wiggly right here in Delvin. They're our meat sponsor, which is, of course, where I got the meat. So, these are what you're going to need. You're going to need two pounds of ground turkey. Nice part is if you use the butter ball, they come in one pound containers. So if you get two containers, you got two pounds. Very easy. You're going to want a light cup of crushed buttery crackers. There's a whole, but a whole bunch of different kinds out there. What I did is I did, I did the townhouse light and buttery originals. Okay. I'll show you what I did so that you know how many you need. This is what one stack looks like. This is how much did I use? Three quarters of a stack came out to the crackers, which is perfect. Oh, I'm doing it again. I'm completely forgetting. Immediately, first thing, preheat your oven, 350. There we go, 350. Okay, so you're gonna need the ground turkey, you're gonna need the crackers, you're gonna need a half a cup of milk, um, a small onion chopped, two eggs, uh, roughly two teaspoons of salt, um, roughly two cloves of garlic, uh, you know how I do it. I'm just going to spot it in there. And then you're gonna, we're also going to make a topping. Granted, you could cheat and just buy a pre-made topping. But this topping is so simple. All you need is ketchup, brown sugar, and Worcestershire sauce. Very simple. Okay, so the things you're going to need is a mixing bowl. And instead of a meatloaf pan, you want a standard cookie pan, baking pan, whatever you want to call it. And you spray it. Now, the reason you do this... Turkey, unlike ground beef, if it keeps too much of its juices while it's cooking, it ends up becoming mush. No matter how, you, unless you burn it to death, it will be mush. So that's why we're going to do it on a flat pan so that the juices drain away. Granted, the very bottom is going to still get a little bit, but it's not, you know, it's going to make a difference. So, first thing you do is you pop your turkey into your mixing bowl. Boop. There's one, and there's two. Okay, add your one half cup of milk. Add your garlic. Add your um, two teaspoons of salt. Let me get to the teaspoon. I should have had it already open to that like I was being silly. I should have known better. And of course, it's a lot easier if you use two hands. There we go. Two teaspoons of salt. And of course, remember, broadcast it like this. Don't just dump it or you're going to have one area that's going to be all salty. And you don't want that. And you need... Um, One half teaspoon of pepper. Ha! My brain is going elsewhere. Uh, for those of you who have been paying attention, I've been doing uh, seven days a week, basically 10 to 14 hour days uh, with my businesses because it's that time of year and we're, the weather was so bad getting ready this year with uh, winter still, as I just explained, it's still not great. I'm so far behind on getting stuff done, it is just stupid. And then of course, add the cracker. Same thing, broadcast it. Oh, forgot the onion. I know I have an onion here. What do I do with it? Silly meat, there it is. Instead of using one small onion, I'm using a half of a large onion. Let's get the cutting board here. Should have had this prepped. I prepped everything else. Okay. 
And if, if you've been watching the show or if you're a newbie, you'll see this. This is going to be really kind of cool. I have this awesome onion dicer. I've used it for tomatoes and stuff like that, and it works really, really good. Let me just get the, uh, the outer layer that's past its prime off of here. Throw that in the garbage. Let me grab my slicer here. This thing is so cool. Just do this. Cut your onion in half because you want quarters so that it fits in the slicer here. One, two, and then just dump it right in. Look at that. Pretty simple, right? Okay, and now of course we mix it all up. Oh, I forgot the eggs. Got to put the two eggs in here too. So I'm going to mix this up. Then I'm going to wash my hands because I left the two eggs. Actually, I don't have to do that. This isn't as bad as ground beef. Ground turkey doesn't stick to your fingers as bad as ground beef does, which is really neat. So you see it's a little bit messy, but I'm just picking up eggs. So we'll add two eggs to this. One and two. All right, continue mixing it. The first thing you're going to notice, this is a lot mushier than ground beef is at this point. Um, ground beef is firmer because of the type of meat it is. It's obviously beef, not turkey, which is poultry. So, this is going to be, I think I might want to add a few more crackers to this because it feels a little bit too soft. I don't know if it'll hold form. Yeah, it's just a little bit too soft. So we're going to take the rest of these crackers and add it to it. been a long time since I've done this, but I know that this feels a little bit too soft. So this is going to be a little strange the way I'm doing this because I did them in a container before and now it's all over my fingers, but that's okay. This should thicken it up just enough. You can use breadcrumbs. The advantage to this, since turkey is not as strong in flavor as ground beef is the uh buttery crackers help with the flavor versus just breadcrumbs breadcrumbs granted there are some flavored breadcrumbs out there i sometimes use the italian ones which is kind of neat okay so we put it on the pan here and we form it into a loaf shape Okay, it's holding a little bit better now. So remember, use the full tube of crackers instead of the three quarters like I did in the first place. Let's move this over here so you can see it better. It's really not that hard to, to mold it in the shape. It's all there is to it, just like this. Okay, now as soon as the oven is up to temperature, We'll put this in here for 30 minutes. While it's in there for 30 minutes, I'll show you how to make the topping. You can just leave the topping inside. It's not gonna need refrigeration for that short period of time. At 30 minutes, we'll pull this out. We'll put the topping on it and put it back in the oven for another 30 minutes. And then after that, we'll check the temperature. We need it to be 175 degrees for turkey. Oh, look, somebody loves me. Probably telemarketer, and it is a telemarketer, yay! Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Now, in all actuality, let's make it stop making that obnoxious noise. I'm going to stick this in the oven now because this oven preheats really fast anyway. So we'll put it in here. We'll set the timer for 30 minutes. There we go. Okay. Now, We'll make the topping. Topping is easy. Get another bowl out. I've got a smaller one over here. This is probably bigger than you need, but I like my stainless steel bowls for mixing things. Uh, so we need ketchup first. 
we need um, three quarters of a cup of ketchup. So what we'll do is we'll use the one cup container here and fill it roughly three quarters full. That looks good. Set it in there. Then we need a quarter cup of brown sugar. I actually have a quarter cup measure here, so let's just grab that. Make it a rounded quarter cup, because obviously there's a little bit of air in there. And then we need um, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, which we have here. Here's your tablespoon measure. Oh, shake it first. All right, see how fast it is? It's temperature already. All right, there we go. And you just take a spoon and mix it up. Pretty simple as you can see. So basically, we're gonna set this off to the side and since the timer's already going, um, we'll go on hold here or pause or whatever and I'll come back when it's all done. Um, but while I'm mixing this, um, there was something I wanted to talk about, something big that's going on. Oh, Alpine Valley concerts are coming up, so hopefully I'll be doing a show at Alpine Valley again this year. I'm not sure uh, which concert I'm gonna do. Um, I'm leaning towards Jimmy Buffett, but uh, we may do fish. Last year, we did Zach Brown Band, and that was a lot of fun. So, that's all you gotta do. See, it's all nice and mixed. Then when the timer goes off, we'll take it out, and we'll put this over the top and put it back in the oven, and we're all done. All right, we'll be back in just a little bit. All right, Fun Guys Foodies, we're back. The timer's just gone off. So let's pull this out of the oven, see how it's looking. There we go. Pretty simple. Now we take our topping that we made. We have a, what the heck, it's on here. Okay, a little bit of barbecue sauce. We pour it right, pretty much right on top. And then we spread it around. Pretty simple. Wanna make sure you get it all the way on the sides. It's another reason why we sprayed the pan. Not only is the turkey not gonna stick, the sauce that will come off will burn in the pan, but it will wash off really easy. Okay, this is it. That's all we have to do. Now we'll stick it back in the oven for 30 more minutes. Then we check the temperature. Get in here, set the timer for 30. Bloop, there we go. Pretty simple, right? This is, uh, this is going to be really, really good, very tasty, and more healthy. Granted, it's still not like vegan food, but, uh, you know, we're carnivores, so this is food. All right? We'll be back in just a little bit. All right, Fun Guys Foodies, we're back. Timer's going to go off in about a minute here. Uh, just wanted to mention, don't forget, uh, like, subscribe, and share. We are working on um, a whole... Oops, making a, a new product that's a rice pasta mixture. The problem is even that low simmer has a tendency to pop the lid and make a mess. So I gotta be careful with this. But anyway, so pass this on to your friends. It's really, really important that you do that. Um, we have a couple sponsors that are looking into us. The problem is our numbers are too low for them right now. Uh, we need to pick that up a little bit. So if you know anybody uh, that likes to cook, Pass this on, share it to them, and tell them to subscribe because we need that and they just need the views and, and subscribers. It's very, very important in this game. I love doing this, but it's a lot easier if you have support, okay? So anyway, the timer's about ready to go off, so let me get the glove here. We're down to 20 seconds, so I'm just gonna pull it out and check the temperature. 
Remember, since this is a poultry product, we uh, want this to be at uh, 160 degrees. Instant read thermometers, it's the best thing in the world for this stuff. According to this, we are done. Yep, perfect. Turn off the timer, we can leave this out. Just like all products that you cook that are uh, any type of meat, turkey is meat, um, you want it to sit for at least five minutes to firm up and suck up any of the last minute juices before you serve it. Which is gonna work out good because I timed this so the pasta is gonna be ready in five minutes also. Can't beat that, right? So, I hope you enjoyed the show. This is another one of those really easy ones. Um, Remember to pass it on, shop at the pig. Uh, I'm Fun Guy and the Entertainer, cooking for you. Thank you.